everybody welcome back or welcome if you're new my name is Michelle and I like to do um, cleaning motivation videos how was your Thanksgiving holiday we had a good day um, some of the family wasn't there because they had the flu but other than that it was a good day uneventful that's always good right um, and then over the weekend, it was my granddaughter's birthday party, but then more of the family was sick, so it was a very small party, but the kids really enjoyed it, so that's all that matters. Um, for me, now it's Monday and the kids are back at school, and so this video is just going to be me getting, you know, some uh, a little bit of cleaning done, nothing major. I'm getting my pill boxes filled up for the week. So let's get right to it. Like two magnets, we are drawn to each other. You just know how to push all my buttons. Moved out of town and I erased your number. But still I find myself calling in the middle of the night. And there is nothing I can do. I am madly drawn. Back to laundry, it never really ends, does it? Um, normally, I keep the laundry for the end of my videos, but today, no, I figured I'd change it up. <laughs> On this day, I just ended up doing the clothes to get them done and out of the way. Um, my table at this point was still full of all of the Christmas decorations that I had never felt like putting up when we did the tree so i decided to go ahead and tackle that and get it out of the way um i still haven't put out the outside decorations which we don't have many and um you know i'm not big on decorating in general so i don't have a lot of stuff but i went through put what i wanted to put i mean i did our stockings you know mainly i was doing stockings but um the rest of the boxes and stuff, I put them back in their totes and we stored them away and 
DJ's bedroom until we take everything back down and then it will go directly into the attic. It's not going to stay in the house this time like it did last year. Baby, I shouldn't call you or leave a message at all. So I try to be patient Cause nothing's written on the wall Yeah, it's too soon to mention How I've begun to feel That I want your attention This time it is for real Oh baby, love me like you did last night I wanna hold you to the Time for a quick break, so I'm putting on my shoes and my coat, and I'm going to run out to the store 
and then when I get back is when I'll get to the decoration so like I said I'm not big on decorating I did not keep a lot of that stuff out it's just the day that we did the tree Bo, like I said before I wanted to go through slowly go through what I had see what I wanted to keep or declutter um, so on and so forth but Bo was having none of that and he was ripping and roaring through all the boxes and so I just was stacking stuff on the table that way it was out of the way um, as he dug through looking for what it was that we were needing and so I'm basically just going back here and putting everything back in um, in a you know neatly and cleaning off that table because I cannot stand the clutter. Like really when we moved into this house, I didn't even want a dining room table because I knew this is what was gonna happen. But then at the same time, I was like, well, I would like a dining room table because I want to have room for the family to sit and eat when we do holidays or parties or just, you know, get togethers. Um, so my husband did build me this table and the bench and originally I had four chairs but then they slowly broke and so I have my daughter's stools right now but they're too tall for the table so the legs need to be trimmed but I think what I'm ultimately gonna do is buy four of the chairs that will match the stools at the bar and so eventually that's what I'm gonna do for now I'm not worried about it uh I'm just worried about getting this table cleaned off so that I don't have to look at that anymore. This year, for the first time, I bought a tree bag. Do you store your tree back in the box or do you put it in a bag? I was kind of leery of a bag because I just felt like, how is that going to hold the weight of the tree? But really, these trees are not heavy. Um, I mean, mine isn't because it's not huge, you know. It's like a seven or a seven and a half foot so it was really light there he goes he likes to be silly and get in front of my camera um but anyway uh it's not a huge tree and it's not heavy so i'm thinking that um the bag should work fine and it had actually came in on this day uh so I had Bo go grab it for me. That way I could look at it before packing it away with the other Christmas stuff. And then also I had my husband grab the regular um, coffee cups that I had packed away into a box. There's the bag right there. Um, and uh, we put those in there with the Christmas stuff. And then I wanted to point out that a lot of the stuff that was on the table that I placed back into the totes was actually my regular rest of the year um decor and stuff um I don't even like that word it sounds too fancy for me but um you know my regular little knickknacks that's what we call it here in the south um those were packed away with the Christmas stuff to be put up until I was ready to take Christmas down and go back to the regular stuff so when Bo was pulling all the stuff out of the boxes he did pull the stockings out, which was fine, but, and I don't know if this happened from him or if that happened when we were taking them down last year, but all of the little bells that I had connected to the stockings came off. So this is what I'm doing. That one was actually broken, so I was fixing it, and then um, I had to get the rest of them tied back onto the stockings before I could hang them, and then I feel like last year I used clear hooks, but I didn't think of that until I had already started hanging them with the hooks that I used. So it doesn't matter really, but I didn't have enough of the sticky pieces for the hooks. So I had to use my bigger command strips and cut them down, which I'm not fond of because command strips are expensive, but I had to hang them and I didn't feel like running to the store. Um, if I didn't say this already, I live next door to the Dollar General. So, while that's amazing when I need something and I can run right there, it's also a headache because if I need something, I can just run right there. <laughs> uh, it makes it easy to spend money because, you know, it's like other than this 
little dollar store, the nearest store, which is also another dollar store, is like eight miles up the road. And then to get to like a Walmart or anything, um, that's 30 minutes either direction from me. So, you know, big shopping trips, those are planned out. But as far as getting, you know, a craving for ice cream or whatever, like the kids will get off the bus and Bo will be like, let's go to the dollar store. I want candy. So that's where it becomes a headache. And then not just that, the dollar store is actually one, um, it's like a block over, but from my house to the dollar store, it's all empty lot. So it's basically next door. And in between my house and that dollar store, now they're building a gas station. So that's going to be even worse because that boy is going to want to be over there every day. And then me, I am going to be so worried about the extra traffic. And I already feel like I'm not going to be able to let my kids play outside because, you know, alone without adults because you know, the no-yos that are going to be at the gas station, like you just can't trust people anymore, which is sad. Um, I know that they do still have good people in the world. There's a lot of good people in the world, but there are also a lot of bad people. And um, I watch too much of the ID channel and my brain gets to go in and I'm like, y'all can't go outside and play once that gas station is up because you don't know what kind of people are going to be coming from where. I mean, we live out in the country almost so it's not like it's going to be people stopping in off of the interstate we're not like at the interstate like you know where we'll catch all of that kind of traffic but we we live on a highway and so there will be there is a lot of traffic and I don't know I'm at this point I'm rambling but I'm sure you get my point is that we live on a dead end. Okay. And there's my house on the corner of the dead end and the highway. Okay. Here's a close up of my little stockings that I bought. And then I stenciled our names on. Um, and then I hooked the little bells just for cuteness. But anyway, our house is on the corner of the highway and the dead end. And then at the end of the dead end, is another house on our side and another house on the other side. My point is there's not much down here, but once that gas station is there, like now my kids can go out and play, but once that gas station is there, it's going to be a whole other story. So anyway, here's the tree. Um, I realized we decorated it, put it up and decorated it um, a couple of weeks back, but I never did do like a really close up of our cute little ornaments. Um, so anyway, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of cleaning motivation or the motivation to get up and do something with that Christmas that you don't feel like messing with just yet. Um, and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, do that and then hit that notification bell. And that's going to let you know every time I upload a video. I don't have a perfect upload schedule, but I do try to get one or two videos up per week. <music>